Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today it's all about the redneck taco. You talking about filling it a home for an East Tennessee boy? Woo! Barbecue, cornbread, slaw. Hey, we got a good one for you today. All right, before we go over the list of ingredients, let me tell you something. If you follow me or have followed me in the past, you know before we even started the flat top style that I used to love the grill. I still love the grill. I've got a couple videos out there in no man's land about how I do my pork. Same way, smoked it, shredded it. This is what it is right here. So this is all shredded uh, pork butt right here. I'm gonna move that off to the side for later. You guys ever heard the term, he put everything in there but the kitchen sink? We're pretty close to it today, but you have to remember, it's almost like combining two different recipes, right? So we're gonna just mound flavor on top of flavor. I know it seems like a lot, but it's not. So we're trying to break it up in two different categories. I'm gonna clean everything off and produce one idea at a time, okay? Let's go. First is the slaw, because we're gonna make the slaw first. Simple, I got cabbage, mayonnaise, vinegar, a little bit of sugar, carrot, and onion, okay? I'm gonna make that. Let that sit, let the cabbage start getting uh, soft. Next is the cornbread. We're making like hoe cakes. We're making like cakes, Johnny cakes. <laughs> How do you can't put that in there? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny we're, cakes. We're making Johnny cakes. That's right. So um, basically, it's just a cornbread mix, and you make pancakes out of them. We have a video already of how we make our cornbread in the cast iron skillet playlist. And if you like cornbread, it is the best cornbread you've ever had. Right. So now, all of a sudden, we're just topping recipe after recipe, and that's how you get the redneck taco. Okay. So we'll make the cornbread. We'll set it to the side, and we'll start warming up the uh, the barbecue on the flat top. We got barbecue sauce. We got it all. All right. Obviously, you guys can use um, store-bought cabbage that's already pre-shredded. We had this for other ideas, and so I'm just gonna use this. Let's fast forward. Just a quick recap, we've done cabbage, we've done onion, we've done green onion, and we've done carrot. Sometimes I like to throw a fresh apple in there. That's up to you guys. I'm just eyeballing everything. There's a certain tang and sweetness in the back of my mouth I want, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. I do not like my coleslaw mayonnaise. I don't mind putting mayonnaise, mayonnaise in it, but I don't like it where it's just like super, just like, Oh, thick and all that stuff. I like it more light and crunchy and fresh. Okay, so just toss your cabbage in that vinegar. Let's season it up. Heavy dose of pepper, more than you think. Salt. Use the sugar of your choice since I'm watching my carbs. And these are simple ingredients, so you can always add as you wish. I don't want just enough mayonnaise to coat it. I don't want a, a thick dressing or nothing like that. Just enough, there you go, to bind it. It's getting pretty close. I think I like where we're at. See, it's very, I don't know if we can see in the colors I know it's kind in of the sun, but see how it's just very lightly coated? Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm, right there. The vinegar actually like heat, it's like a sweet heat with tang. Perfect, all right. Let the coleslaw do its thing. One of the very few times I actually go by recipe. All right, so really quick. One and a quarter cup of cornbread mix. I happen to, happen to like the buttermilk style. That's completely up to you, okay? Three fourths of a cup of actual buttermilk. It's probably redundant, but I don't think you can have good cornbread without it. One egg. One half cup cream corn. One and a half cup shredded cheese. Sprinkle of salt. 
as many diced jalapenos as you like. Sometimes you can substitute. I think in my original recipe, we had uh, green chilies. Yep. Today I'm going for the heat. Just a little bit of sugar, about a tablespoon. Quarter cup sour cream. That's perfect. Mix well, you don't have to over mix it and just let it sit, okay? It smells good already. Look at that, that's perfect. That's perfect batter, look at that. All right, we got our pulled pork, we got our hoe cake mix, and we have our slaw. See how it's starting to wilt down that cabbage? That's what you're looking for. That's why you make it uh, first, okay? So now the fun begins. You guys ready? Let's go build. We're gonna warm that pork up on the flat top. Just let us do its thing. All that fat's gonna come out. It's gonna start creating that crust on the pork. Like any good cornbread, any good pancake, throw down some butter, maybe some bacon grease, whatever you got. All right, once they're done on one side, just go ahead and Them whole cakes. Mm. Johnny cakes. It's time to build. All right, let's build them the way I would like them. They smell really? so good. Are you gonna try a little bite first? Let me. Let's just try a little bite. Teeny little bite. Wait, I didn't say cut it in half. <laughs> just look at that dang fluffiness. The cheese melt and the jalapenos cooked in the butter. Getting lucky tonight. All right, <laughs> <laughs> tell it takes. All right, here we go. Pile you up some fresh pork. Now this is how I like to build mine. Your favorite barbecue seasoning. Go and top it off a little bit. Just gives it a little bit of that saltiness, a little bit of zing. I'm gonna hit a little with a little sriracha. Just on yours. On both, cause I'm the creator. <laughs> All right. Then come back here for the main event. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Hit it with that dang barbecue sauce. Mmm. Come on with me, say it with me. Come on crowd. Come on, guys. Mm. Could you imagine what this tastes like? You ever make something and you know dang well what you're about to eat is going to be fantastic? So they call us a taco, but you have to eat it with a fork. Mm -hmm. What are some of the great words you can say? Fantastic, awesome, great, genius, make again, hallelujah. Whatever word you want to use, I like it, as long as it's a good word. These are fantastic. I love these dang jokers. Shout out to the newbies out there that just got your flat top griddle. If you make something and it doesn't work out the way you like, do not be alarmed and do not be stressed. Cooking is all about learning, and the more you do it, the more confident you are. Comment below. Let me know what you guys make. Whatever it is, just make something. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. These jokers, one of the best things you've ever put in your mouth. I'm just excited about that cornbread. Mm -mm. Mm -mm.